Tonight, a Marco Island woman says she's trying to decide on a course of action after she claims police used excessive force on her after they responded to a call about possible domestic violence. Now, she says she resisted arrest, but ended up with bruises. Four in your corners, Carl Fortier spoke with the woman today and has got video of the arrest to show you more of what happened. We took an Uber home from Naples and we got into an argument. That's how Nina McKeo says her and her fiance Mont Reed's encounter with Marco Island police began on the night of May 5th after a night out drinking. According to a police report, the Uber driver called the cops after dropping them off at this house on Winterberry Drive because the driver claimed Reed punched McKeo in the face, but she denies her fiance hit her. They came up like a SWAT team. McKeo says she was confused as to why the police were there and that after her fiance Reed stepped away from the officers, they flew into the house, slammed him against a wall. I grabbed the officer in front of me's arm and said, hey, what are you doing? And they took me and threw me to the ground face first, put a knee in my back, put me in handcuffs. She says she got these bruises from the officers from the arrest. While Reed awaits trial on a charge of battery that McKeo says didn't happen, she's thinking about making a formal complaint of excessive force. In an email, acting Marco Island Police Chief Dave Baer says no such complaint has been filed with MIPD, but that they are reviewing the officer's actions that night. Could have said, we got a call, we need to investigate, we're going to have to separate you and get stories, and none of this would have happened. In Marco Island, Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner.